Okay, so real quick, just wanted to show how I do patches um, with plastic and doing like a punch out type uh, style. So first I wanna just show you the type of plastic that I use. This is from Home Depot. It's a four mil plastic. It's the three foot by 50 foot roll. And all I do is just roll off a little bit and cut it and leave this length hanging down. Uh, you can trim it off if you want, but normally what I do is I just maneuver the uh, design to the top so that way I can get a couple of um, patches out of one piece of plastic. But that's, that's really not that important. So that's the plastic. Again, four mil. And this is the um, 2.5 ounce um, easy tear. You can also use the, the 1.5, it doesn't matter. So what I do is I basically just stick it right on top right there. And, um, and then throw it into the machine. This is a mighty hoop, of course. I'm sure if you're an embroidery expert, you probably know what a mighty hoop is. So I just basically throw the plastic in there and it it it's sometimes it's tight, sometimes it's not, but it's right now it's not that tight and it doesn't have to be. So again, just stick that right there. And I'll go over and stick it in the machine. center okay and all this just hangs down um, I will point out real quick maybe you can see it I add an applique stop so I can tear the uh, tear away away before it does its final satin stitch okay so let me click OK do a trace a little low so I'm going to move it up just a tad right there I'm going to do another trace that looks good I'll go ahead and start nice and quiet That's the tack down. You can see here that I have my other hoop, my eight by nine mighty hoop already ready to go. And I also have my seven, a seven inch square hoop right here. You can see that's where I've done a patch, popped it right out. that back in there put this back over here Almost there. Okay, so it just finished. And now you can, I guess we can remove this real fast. 
And I'm just going to set this here for a second. Maybe I can set that there. That's probably not a good idea. Off. I'd probably suggest using the 1.5 ounce tearaway instead of the heavier because it does still have a little bit of a bite to it there. There we go. Okay. There, a little paper there. Okay, there. So I just tore that off. Stick it back in. All right, and now we'll finish it up. satin stitch okay it's done so you can see it just stopped the satin stitch had a little problem in this corner over here I'll have to try to redigitize that and fix that but now you can just take it and pop it right loose just like that There. So you'll see there's little bitty plastic fuzzies along the edge, and then some of your some of your bobbin thread on the back. That's not a problem. I'll show you how to take care of that. Quick like. Mm, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Oh, let's see if I can get creative enough. Maybe I can get creative enough to get this boom to stand up. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'll just show you like this. So there, I just ran the lighter around the edge, and those little plastic nibs that were along here are gone. So, you can see there's still some nibs there. If it will focus. Yep. So I'll get some of this stuff hanging off the bottom right here. See it? Do, 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 do. Real quick, just run it all the way around. And then straighten out this tail over here. I don't know what's going on with that tail, that corner. But that's pretty much it. Voila. Got some, a few more off the back. That's, now I'll just uh, stick my iron on adhesive on the back of it and it'll be done. So it's pretty sturdy, just like it is. And that's all I did is just put that easy. So there's a layer of plastic and then there's the easy and then the bobbin thread. So that's it. Hope it helps you.